So, you know, you never know about a jury. I am a fan of jury trials, and you don't know what sort of considerations that they are, are making in the jury room. So you just put the facts in front of them, you struck them on the wall, and then it's up to them to make a decision. I feel relatively certain that the lack of uh, visible injuries, documented injuries, up to Ms. Miles probably played a role in the malicious wounding charge for sure. I, mean, I think that that would have been a real, uh, real jury question because you know there was uh, testimony concerning bruising and injury to the knees and the, the, the wrist, but no hospital records or anything to really support any extensive injury. So I think that probably played a, a role like that. I'm not sure about the uh, leaving the scene of an accident, although there is an argument to be made that, you know, it's not like some stranger that people don't know who it is. That may play a role in their thinking. And of course they found uh, him guilty of improper driving, which is a lesser included offense of the reckless driving. But you know, the reasons why jurors do what they do, unless you're in that jury room, you really don't know. But it is a committed decision. I, I trust the judge.